Hello, so I've got another PC video here for you today for a Ryzen 9 3900X for uh, the hardware bought uh, 2020 Team Cup. Uh, now, this chip is a bit of a pain. Um, I'll just go over this first actually. We've got the Asus Crosshair 8 Hero running on phase. Minus 50 degrees, you can see there. So this CPU does have a slight issue with it. It has a cold boot bug at minus 20. So if I crash, I can't post. So what I've done is I've booted into Windows at 4.3 GHz, which you can see there in Cinebench. And then I'm using Asus Turbo V Core to increase the vCore voltage and the CPU ratio so I pretty much can't change the memory settings I've put the memory at 4333C16 sorry about the flickering on the monitor by the way can't do much about that um, I'm just testing it using Cinebench you see I've got Ryzen Master open just to make sure the temps don't go positive So they are going up a little bit above zero, but I'm still only at 1.4 volts. I'm hoping to and get to 1.5 volts. But what I've actually got to run for this competition is W Prime 124M X265 1080p. So I'm going to do that quickly. Going to close Cinebench. You can see the scores I've got with it so far. These couple at the bottom were on air cooling. That's the first one I got on phase. So, see what it gets. This is just on normal. 93 FPS. Put it on overkill times two. You can see the temperatures are going slightly positive. Pulling 270 watts at the wall, if you can see that. Oops. Nearly done. 109 FPS. So I'm hoping to get to at least 4.8. So anyway, I'm going to save these files and I might make a bit more video later once I've got it going a bit quicker, because to be fair probably do almost these clocks on water anyway. So a quick little update, we're now at 4.7 at 1.488 volts, being a bit careful going up nice and slowly. It's got 115 FPS which is in the top 10 for 3900Xs, uh, just above someone on water and below someone else on phase and uh, it's pulling just over 300 watts now when it's actually running. So, still at the same memory settings, obviously I can't change those. So yeah, 4.7, 115 FPS, 120 really, but I don't know whether I'll be able to get it without being able to change the memory settings. It's a bit annoying really, but yeah, it's uh, going okay. Right, unfortunately it just crashed, it won't turn back on again, obviously. You can see it's uh, just pulling up now, so I've turned it off. I'll uh, show you the results. Got them all on the USB stick, so I'll have to go upstairs to my other PC to turn that on to show you the results uh, that I got. So we're here running the phase cooler again. I've got the proper memory profile set up now. You can see we're at minus 56, so, and we're at uh, 4.75 gigahertz at 1.488 volts running HWBOT X265 at 1080p the score we're trying to beat is 117.425 FPS that was my previous score so let's see how it goes overkill mode wait for it to cool back down again 
Sí, es verdad. Sí, está bien. 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 for these bars to be as even as possible basically. So they're not very even, you can see the uh, score is times 0.83 and this is flickering really badly. Now we'll just wait for it to cool down a bit again and we'll try again. a bit more even this time. However, it's not actually pulling as much power at the wall, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Let it cool down for a bit longer this time. Should be a fair bit faster on these memory settings, quite a bit tighter than they were before. So I don't know why it's not working. Ah, this is going to fail. Yep. Just waiting for it to pull back down again. We're going to try and run on very high. The flickering from this monitor is horrible on the uh, camera. Might as do. Minus. 56. It's a little bit better. It's still not near 117.45 FPS that we actually need. It's a bit annoying. I did test this a lot of times um, on ambient temperatures and it was quite a bit quicker so I don't see why it's not being any faster. You can see we've got pretty much a perfect uh, ratio there, 0.999. Yeah, it's only scoring 116 FPS so I'm not entirely sure why that is. Do a bit of troubleshooting and then come back. So we have a bit of uh, tension. Phase cooler is on this blue wire here and it won't turn on. Dead. So that's it for this session. Probably uh, just blown a fuse, I hope. So we'll see anyway. Right, that'll be it for this one. Bit disappointing. Uh, oh well, goodbye.